Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Agent Frogman bringing you the second episode of Let's Play Yume Nikki. So, uh, yeah, just gonna get started here. Go to sleep, go into the dream world, and this time we are going to locate the umbrella effect, the stoplight effect, and the, uh, the mega mode effect, which I will explain what each of those do as soon as I come across them. Uh, quickly here, let's just get my glitch thing on, and oh yeah, I guess I might as well do this just while I'm here in this room. Completely forgot about this last time, but there was an event where there's like a 1 in 7 chance that every time you click on this TV, instead of an eyeball, there will be this sort of, there will be this event, and it's like these, well, I guess I shouldn't explain, I just show it to you as soon as it pops up here. It doesn't really take very long to get. Only a 1 in 7 chance, so pretty quickly here, we're gonna see it. Any time now. No one likes you, eyeball. Go away. Uh, it'll pop up. I assure you it will. I promise. I'm not lying. Sometime here it will. Seriously, it never takes this long. <laughs> it's a 1 in 7 chance. That's actually pretty good. I mean, for compared to the other things in this game. That's really good. Why is this taking so long? Seriously, I'm on like a... I don't want to go through long these thing, in these videos. If you're not... Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so this is it. I'm not going to take too long to look at it. It's got kind of these... This music in the background, I'm not sure if you can he really hear it. I'll stop talking and turn up the volume a little bit. But yes, this is all it is. Just these crazy red Aztec people with these uh, weird ass tongues that are really long and do this zigzag thing. And it's got this tribal drumbeat kind of ish music in the background. And that's all it is. It's just it's a weird event. It's always kind of reminded me of this rug right here, but uh, I seriously doubt there's any connection between the t uh, this random TV event and her rug. So, uh, all right, into the puddle world. This is the puddle world, and somewhere over here, I think I think I'm going the right direction. I actually remember the location of this. Okay, yeah, we found this thing. We'll go in there as soon as I find the umbrella. There it is. Look, first try. Uh, I was afraid I was just going to get lost in here because I'm not really sure where any of these things are. But anyway, I just made it rain when you put on the umbrella effect. And also, I might as well show you this. This is what the demon effect does. Uh, when it's raining, you get some thunder action. That's why it wasn't doing anything the last time I had it. It was because uh didn't have any rain on. So it just went, er, 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 you know, can't use its ability. But that doesn't really help you at all. Uh... The umbrella effect actually does help you at one point in the game. I'll show you that later. Uh, is there anything else I need to demonstrate? Showed you what umbrella was. I haven't actually showed you what the knife does yet. I haven't actually stabbed anything yet. I'll do that at some point here. Actually, I think there's like a little goon right here. Uh, a little jellyfish guy right here, I think. Jellyfish, are you here? What's up here? No, 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 we're not going to go up there. We're going to stay on track here. Okay, so here's here's jellyfish, bro. Uh, yeah, you, you're going to get the knife, all right? Stab it from the side. Uh, all right. Uh, shit. Okay, well, I guess jellyfish guy is immune to my stabbies. So, uh, unless I'm doing something wrong, unless I'm forgetting something, that guy cannot be stabbed. All right, let's just let's just move on. Uh, so we're going to find the stoplight ability this time, which is actually fairly useful and is important for. Uh, a couple other events in this game. If I had had stoplight ability while I was doing the Steve thing, uh, I could have frozen him. The stoplight ability, basically, when you press 1, it makes NPCs freeze. So, uh, yes, eventually you're going down this path and you see all those like weird blob red... There's that one's fat, that one's red, that one's purple, that one's also purple. Uh, but eventually you begin to realize, you keep going this way, you just see the same things in the background over and over again. It's like the endless staircase in Super Mario 64, so it's just like, alright, I'm gonna turn back now. It's just like, what? I didn't see that one before. Looks at you as you go out, it's not creepy at all, and now we are here with the sinister, uh, like, chanting music in the background. This music is always kind of creeping me out, and, uh-oh, what's this? We got a dead guy over here. Yes, yeah, this dead green guy, and, uh, he's in the middle of the road. We've got some cones over here. Just gonna, yeah, there we go. Touch dead body, we get stoplight ability. Stoplight ability, show you that right here. Actually, probably, but anyway, you turn the stoplight. Probably better to show you when there's an actual enemy around moving, but, uh, you do this. 
blip, 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 blip. So that's what, that's the stoplight ability. I'll actually, like, use it later. Um, I'm also going to show you this. Take the cat ability. Be out next to this guy, his dead body twitches. Like, you know, that's not creepy at all. Totally fine. Uh, anything else? Can I stab this guy? Can I, like, just stab him? Stab? Stab? No stab? Alright, fine. Can't stab things that are already dead, I guess. Whatever, game. Whatever. I'm not disappointed at all. Uh, so, press 9. We're gonna wake up here. And now, you're gonna get back in bed, and we're gonna go locate the... Hand Eye thing. The Mega Maud ability. Which is located in the eyeball worlds and it's really well actually i was gonna say it wouldn't take that long to find but you know it probably is <laughs> i'm probably gonna get lost <sighs> i never know where any things any of these things are but i'm just gonna wander around here until i see it we're looking for one of these groping hand things with except that has an eyeball on it so uh somewhere around here we got these guys yeah they're Look like their eyes got ripped out. Uh, totally fine there. Uh, what's this? Can't. Nothing happens when I go through that, so just not gonna worry about it. Ah, here it is. Okay, there we go. That didn't take that long. There's a foot right there. Foot's on a mission. Let's stab this foot. Stab the foot. Ah! Ah! I win. Hey, I got some money too. Money serves pretty much no purpose in this game. I actually think in one of the areas there's like a vending machine you can do. Holy shit! I can stab that guy. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Let's go stab some hands. I'm gonna go find like a giant clump of those uh, hands and I'm gonna stab them all. Well, I'm not gonna stab them. Okay, you know what? Let's just stab these. I'm just gonna stab some more stuff. Woo! Woo! Whoa, that was a foot over there. I think this foot needs to be stabbed. Whoa, foot, where are you going? Okay, I'm get that. I'm gonna get that foot. Foot, get back here. Where do you think you're going, bitch? You're gonna hop again. Okay, never mind. He's just gonna do some little hops. So, what are you planning to do? Okay, there we go. Here he goes. Ah! Nailed it. Couldn't get away that time, could you, bitch? So, now what do I want to do? How long have I been going for? How much time do I got left? I'm going for about seven minutes. Uh, shit, we gotta pull this thing back up. Uh, so seven minutes, that's probably enough to get some more stuff. So let's wake up and let's go do something else. Uh, quickly decide something to get here. Uh, still thinking, don't really know what I want to go find. Not sure what I can find in just three minutes. I mean, might get lost on my way and it'll turn into more like ten minutes. So, let's go get the flute ability. Yes. No, 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 let's not go do that. We'll save... We'll go... We'll have... I want the witch ability before I go to the department store, just so I can do something on my way. Uh, just quickly there, come on, we gotta decide here. We're wasting time. Uh, no, we're not gonna go in there yet. We'll get that when I do that. Ah, uh, god damn it, I can't decide. Candle World. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go find the tiny ability. Just off the top of my head. Uh, and the tiny ability is just like this green guy, or this guy with a little green hat and the sword, and he's kind of running around in here. This is a... This is actually what the enemies look like in the game. There, there are enemies in the game. Uh, they look like this, except they have, like, crazy eyes. This is actually a normal one. If I stab this thing, it will come after me. But, uh, now it's just chilling around, being a pal. But, uh, those things, they don't really kill you, but they... They don't, they don't really kill you. They don't kill you. They, they teleport you to an area where you can't escape. And basically, you have to use the, uh... You have to, you have to wake up or use the Mega Mod ability to get out. And I just realized I did not actually show you what the Mega Mod ability does. I'll be sure to do that as soon as I find a tiny ability because, you know, it'll be time to end the Let's Play anyway. So, uh, well, oh, good, there it is. Shit, get back here, dude. Whoa, where are you going, bitch? All right, Midget. Okay, it's not tiny ability. It's called Midget. Whatever. It's all the same. Uh, so Midget, Midget, if, you know, it makes you really small. And that guy's like, oh, <laughs> he's thought he was going to, like, hump my back until I... Finally move a different direction, but I guess he's just gonna walk around me. Whatever, dude. Uh, it's, actually, it's probably better if you want to catch this guy. You use a stoplight ability, and then he stops like that. So here's a demonstration of what that does. Didn't actually use that. I just caught him. Not really that hard. So you get the knife, dude. Whoa, bitch! Oh, he escaped. I couldn't press it in time. Even though I was mashing the one button, I couldn't catch him. Here, that's that's like a that's like a challenge. Stab the midget. <laughs> If you can stab the midget, you should get an award. He's fast and he doesn't stop moving. So, anyway, what else was I going to show you? What did I just get? Oh, yeah, I was going to show you what the Mega Mod ability does. Um, get this, your hand. 
uh, your head is a hand with an eyeball on it. You press one and zoom, 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 zoom. Then suddenly you're over here. I just realized I probably should have shown you what the what the those bird people actually do here. We're gonna uh, get back into this here. Uh, hang on. We're actually just gonna do that really briefly here. I'm gonna show you what those bird people are just just because just because I can. Uh, so. Hopefully it won't take that long for me to find that bird person again. If I can't, well, you know what, I might as well. I'm already wandering through the candle world again on my bike. I might as well find it. So, okay, yeah, that didn't take very long. So, here's what happens. Uh, some Most of the time you'll come across these enemies and they're already trying to catch you. But this one's just chilling around. You know, it's like a bird girl in a serial dress. You stab her and she's going to go, in, go into lunatic mode. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stab her. And then, oh yeah, see, there we go. And then... Uh, quickly, freaking stoplight. Uh, 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 oh, 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 okay. Well, he didn't. She didn't get me, but as you can see, it is now completely. Luna, oh shit! I didn't press one again. Oh well, well you know now. Here's what happens now. See, look at me. I'm in a freaking little cube. I can't escape. Uh, I can't get out. So we're going to use my very helpful Mega Mod ability, even though it's the end of the lesser place. So. I'm just going to be closing out of the game anyway. It doesn't really matter that I don't wake up. But, uh, yeah, that's all for now. Agent Frogman out.